What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And when you think of adding an awning to your overland rig, your car camping rig, your van, uh, that sort of thing, this is, this is probably what comes to mind or something very similar, something that is um, hard mounted, semi-permanently mounted to your vehicle. And when it comes to that type of awning, um, this one by Ostrich Wing, it's an Ostrich Wing Junior, is probably one of the best of the best. It is a freestanding awning that can sustain 40 miles per hour winds without even putting the support leg down. Um, so it is, it's an incredible awning. But um, there are some pretty, um, pretty compelling cases not to go with an awning like this. One, you may not have the required roof rack to be able to mount um, a semi-permanently mounted awning like this um, you know your vehicle the, the way you have your tent set up uh, the way your vehicle set up you, you may not be able to to do that uh, two is cost um, especially when you combine the cost of the roof rack with the cost of the awning um, you're talking thirteen hundred dollars for the awning plus what was it um, what a thousand dollars or so for the roof rack i mean you're talking a lot of money um, to have some, some shade and some rain coverage like this that your vehicle may or may not be able to support. But I have an alternative. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. As you can see, uh, my rack does not go full height of the roof line. It is a three quarter height rack. Uh, before this rack, I had a half height rack, which is very common amongst um, overland build on trucks because a lot of people don't want their tent that high up. They can't get in the garage. Uh, lots of compelling reasons to keep your tent down low, center of gravity uh, when you're off road, uh, lots of things. But that does limit you uh, because if I were to mount an awning to this, uh, like we have on my wife's Wrangler, well, the awning's gonna come out here and then um, wouldn't be able to open the door because the awning's gonna be, gonna be here. Um, and I mean, there's, there are some solutions to raise it up and, but then you got issues with your tent opening up. Um, it, it just, it, a permanently mounted awning is just not a good solution for a rack that's not full height and with a tent that opens up like this one does. But um, you guys have seen this on the channel before. I've, I've shown it off, um, included it in another gear video, but I've never just taken the time to actually walk through this. This is the Moonshade. And if you watch the intro, you do know that they are sponsors of this channel and they are sponsors of this channel because I very much believe in this product and absolutely love it. Um, let me show you what it does. The Moonshade is, it's a portable, awning it comes in this bag which is smaller than most camp chairs and the installation of it is very very simple uh, you've got the awning itself and then you've got some poles let's uh let's see how long it takes me to set this up it is currently actually you know what let's start a stopwatch stopwatch ready and go
There we go. In under three minutes, I've got a fully deployed awning here that uh, covers the back of my Jeep very, very well. Um, let me show you some of the details. The Moonshed comes with one support pole that you use for the uh, side that attaches to your vehicle. I've actually got these eyelets uh, that fit into my extrusion bed rack. So this is what I use to, uh, sec to secure the, the pole to, um, to my Gladiator. And it works really, really well. They also have um, suction cup mounts. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. They also have magnetic mounts. They've got a number of different mounting solutions depending on your vehicle. And underneath, you've got seven feet by nine feet of coverage, uh, be it from sunshade or from rain. I have used this uh, many times in the rain to, you know, since this is my cooking area, this works incredibly well. It's got multiple loops and hooks. So if you want to put lights underneath here, the poles here uh, can adjust. You've got telescoping poles, so you can raise it up higher if you want it to. It's got carabiners here that secure the poles to the awning. So if a gust of wind comes along, your awning is not going to, um, your pole is not going to fall out from your awning because you've got those. You've got guy lines that it comes with to secure it down on all four corners. And as you can see, it sets up and takes down very, very quickly. The construction on this is top notch. The material is nice and thick. Uh, all the seams are sewn very well. They're reinforced uh, here in the yeah, the main uh, stress points here. You've got multiple reinforcements here. Uh, so this thing is not gonna fall apart on you. It is not going to fail you after, you know, after a few uses. This thing is designed very, very well and very well constructed. I've actually been using this Moonshade for a number of years. I used it on my previous JKU uh, Rubicon. And I, I had a, um, a metal bar that went over the back of my soft top. So I used their magnetic mounts to secure it to that. And it worked fantastic. But the great thing about this is it, it's, not, it's not dependent upon your vehicle. If uh, you know, you're going out with a friend and they don't have an awning, you just throw the bag in the back of their vehicle. And with either suction cup mounts or magnetic mounts, you can secure it to whatever. Let me show you. With the suction cup mounts, now I've got the moonshade mounted to my daughter's little Hyundai. So if she were maybe going to the lake with some friends or, you know, just hanging out at the soccer field because she plays soccer, uh, this would be a, a great little solution for her to, to have shade right next to her vehicle. But what if you're at the beach and you want to have some shade from the sun while you're there, you don't want to carry one of those big heavy canopies, uh, this is a fantastic solution as well. It, uh, it works really good. Also, you know, it could be great for your kids' soccer games, baseball games, any place that you don't want to have to lug around one of those big canopies and just have a, a, a simple portable shade. This is fantastic. Another option that Moon has now are their new uh, Moon walls. These are not meant to, you know, actually enclose the awning and give you, you know, actual shelter. They don't put doors or anything in these, but what they do do is just give you a little bit extra coverage. You just take this side and it actually goes under the awning piece. So put that there. Then you put that back on top there. And you do the same for this side. And you can attach this there just to just to secure it there. And now I can anchor that down if I was sitting on dirt and just have a little bit extra coverage. Um, I mean, for as simple as an attachment point as that is, they also make one for, for the long side, which I 
have here in this bag. So if I'm uh, at camp and it's really hot and I need some extra shade or it's raining and I want a little bit extra coverage, um, you know, I, I've got some additional uh, material to drop down and give me extra shade, give me extra rain coverage. And I, I think it's incredible. So the moonshade, I think it is absolutely brilliant. It is well constructed. It is well designed. And for 350 bucks, you get quite a bit of coverage and a whole lot of versatility. Um, I just think it is a fantastic product. Let me know in the comments what you think. The link for this is in the description if you want to go check them out. Uh, I just think it's a heck of a deal. So give the video a like if you would. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Um, uh, we've got a goal of hitting 75,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I think we can do it. So if you're watching this and not subscribed, be sure and go hit that subscribe button. If you like the content that we're putting out and you want to support this channel, go check out our Patreon. We do a lot of special content for our patron subscribers. Uh, we do special events, and you get access to all of our GPS data. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.